How's it going, everybody? I just wrapped up my weekly live stream, and I'm with Lauren. Hey guys. Who is uh, helping me. And if you watched the live stream, you saw, you saw who she was. I'm probably on a plane as you're watching this, so I didn't have time to produce like a newsy thing or to, or to talk specifically about any type of, I don't know, story or opinion. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to introduce you to Lauren, who's going to be helping set up the podcast and who's going to be helping produce videos in the future. And I also thought it was interesting because Lauren, you identify as right wing, I suppose, but you're a college student. Yep. Which is to many people, you know, colleges are like progressive fortresses. Yeah, it's and a bit of a contradiction. So, but but so you consider yourself right wing, but you're not. You don't consider yourself conservative or new right or what? Yeah, the labels I think have been really. I think the problem with having so many labels on the right now, like there's new right, alt right, white nationalist, white supremacist, all these different terms, and for all the people on the right that don't feel like they prescribe to any of them in particular, like myself. So I kind of just float around and use the term right wing. I have a slight libertarian lean, so I also add that, but I also wouldn't call myself a libertarian, so it's actually kind of a difficult situation. So you're like a center right libertarian? <laughs> sure. But, but what, what, so what makes you think you're right wing? Like what about you? Um, I support the constitution. I support free speech. I support, uh, I, I, promote, I promote, I promote, yeah, I promote traditionalist values a bit but i i don't shut okay. things down people there you yeah. go right so that's yeah. more right because i like the like free speech and the constitution are not exclusive to the right i hope well, I, I understand the, you know the progressive yeah well now free speech is a code word for you must be a nazi Seriously. so that's why i felt the need to say that i shouldn't have to say that i support the free speech in the constitution describing myself as right wing but okay so so traditional stuff sure that's 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 right wing right mm -hmm. So you're you're a college student. Yes. In the in the in the den of the of your enemy, I'm being facetious. But has 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 college been hostile? Have people been I don't know mean to you for having these views? Well, no one's outwardly. Uh, I haven't had insults hurled at me exactly. I try to have a discussion with anyone who wants to, and I keep it pretty civil. So I think I think people kind of blow college the the perspective out of the water. A lot of them assume that it's just a total shit show with people screaming and rabid and totally left wing which i wouldn't say is exactly true there are certainly times i mean there have been black lives matter protests on campus but those never really got out of hand i think the most important thing is communication which has actually been fairly decent on my campus but interestingly enough i wanted to do an experiment because when you're right wing left wing you can't tell by just looking at someone also i go to uh i go to a business school and people kind of I mean, it's a business school, so people tend to dress more uh, professionally. Suits, yeah, so polos. I would say it's a little more like uh, homogeneous in the way how students look and present themselves because it is a business school. So it's not like a liberal arts college where I would expect more people to kind of be like expressing themselves in that way. But so, do you think the school, like the students are very progressive? Is that like an obvious thing or? Yeah, especially uh, the professors are extremely progressive. And at you a always business see, school. Yeah, even at the business school. Um, we have professors who just completely shit on Trump. They wear little pins all the time and you can't get a word in. I don't even bother with the professors at this point. It's not worth it. So the students tend to almost not care though. You'll see them some nodding their, nodding their heads at what the professors say, but it's, it hasn't been so bad. But as an experiment, I actually decided to wear a MAGA hat. I got the hat specifically to wear it to school. I, I'm not like a huge Trump supporter, you know, I kind of judge them by each individual issue, but I got the hat so I could wear it as a shock value because like I said, it's hard to tell who's who on what side. And just want everyone to know that. Yeah, I did. I wanted to kind of see if I would get verbally attacked. Let's put did it that they way. throw you out and beat you to death? No, but this was a summer class, so my campus was not as busy. But I walked, when I was walking, this is New York City, so walking the streets, I was actually, I did not want to put my MAGA hat on before I got to school, which I kind of regret now. I kind of think I would have gotten a better reaction on the streets, so maybe that's something I would try in the future. You, but, should, you should do a 10 hours walking through New York as a woman wearing a MAGA hat. Yeah, that's something I consider I should do that. But, yeah. uh, so I decided to just wear it once I got into class. <laughs> well, before I got into class, as I got to, into school. So... I get into school and I'm like, am I really going to do this? And I'm looking around and then I pull it out and just put it on my head. And at first I'm kind of just like, I'm going to walk to class and just not look at anybody <laughs> because I, was, I did, wasn't sure if I was going to put this thing on. But once I put it on, I was like, all right, I'm not going to take it off now. It's kind of, I committed to this. So I'm walking through the halls 
and every person it's almost always a double take like it's it's very rarely just like the like look and stare it's look and then they i think they see the bright red and some people question like oh is that and then they see it and they're like oh it is <laughs> what's You're wrong with her yeah exactly it's it's like the equivalent now of like wearing an armband it's very it's totally symbolic of at least in a progressive campus just you are a nazi yeah exactly Obviously. bad things i'm a nazi so right so i wear the hat and i get into class the reason i actually decided to wear the hat too i was um i told my professor that i was considering doing it because i didn't want to get kicked out of class for wearing it and they actually thought it was an interesting idea so there was open discussion about it but i get into class and everyone in my class just stares at me and it was actually pretty funny i kind of just looked at everyone smiled and i sat at my desk and everyone was quiet and looked at me and then they didn't really ask questions till after class but i saw some people that looked visibly pissed off but i think they know that i'm politically active like involved in the news and conversation and kind of know what i'm talking about to a certain extent so a lot of them i think felt intimidated to confront me about it but i got some dirty looks none of them actually came up or said anything to me though so that was interesting i kind of wanted them to though so Maybe I should just go out in the street so, with it. Yeah, yeah, sounds like you were troll. You were trying to troll your college. Yeah, exactly. That was the point. I kind of wanted to see if I can get anyone to debate me so I could talk about issues with them. But the bait didn't work so much. I did get a couple questions. Someone just asked me, you know, why are you wearing it? And I said, oh, it's sort of an experiment. Like, I just want to see. And they said, oh, so do you love Trump? And I was like, no, not necessarily. I just, you know, I just kind of wanted to see what people thought about it and yeah. thought about me for wearing it. And they were like, okay, okay, but they were very suspicious of me. <laughs> well, there was there was that there's that video where one of the teachers says something like, "You can't wear a Trump shirt in this class, and you can't wear a swastika either." Like, yeah, is, like they're equivalent in some way. But is like I don't know. Do you feel like that kind of feeling exists in these campuses when people ask you about it? Oh, definitely. It's it sounds ridiculous to hear a professor saying that like no swastika bands, no Trump hats. <laughs> like it's like, oh, are those even the same thing? Well, yeah. they're, they're equating them, but. In that moment, I mean, I consider myself to be to not really care so much what people think. I've never really felt that fear. I love public speaking. I do that on campus and in different in classes, and it's great. But when it came to putting that hat on, I hadn't felt stage fright in so long, and it came full force. <laughs> I was really nervous about you know what was going to go on, but I committed to it. And I once I put the hat in my backpack, I was like, I'm not going home without this sitting on my head. What? Could it just be regular fright? Like someone might punch you in the back of the head for wearing it? Could be, yeah. I mean, it would be really interesting to see what would happen if, you know, you're female, walking around New York wearing that hat. Honestly, I think I think something bad would happen. To be completely, like, you know. Yeah, We've walk- seen videos of people with, like, Trump bumper stickers mm-hmm. and people, like, open start. I think one guy got carjacked because of it. Yeah. Yeah, walking through the streets would be a totally different story. So campuses still are a bit of this safe space bubble. So I wasn't I wasn't really expecting to get physically attacked or any anything like that. That would have been totally shocking. And I, I thought the worst that would ever happen was that someone would, you know, say something mean or curse at me. Which... But you, you have friends at your school, I'd imagine, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously. Have, do they know that you consider yourself right wing? Do they get mad at you? Yeah, they don't get, I mean, basically the friends I've had that have found out I'm right wing, if they're not cool with that, we just seem to fade away. <laughs> and that's okay with me. Uh, but for the most part, I actually have some very hardcore left wing friends who actually have Trump derangement syndrome, but we just don't talk politics and they've accepted that because they know it's going Trump to- Trump derangement syndrome. Yes, anything, Trump is their trigger word and they start going off, so. But we've just decided that we're not gonna talk politics. And I think it's silly to put yourself, sur- uh, surround yourself with only students or friends, uh, your peers in the workplace, whatever you want to call it, with the exact views of your own. I think it's it's actually kind of sad, not just for the political fact that you're only going to hear, you're only going to be reaffirmed in your beliefs. That's probably the worst thing about it, is that no one's going to challenge you. You're never going to be questioned. And then you're going to be weakened because you want to be stronger. You want to be questioned. You want to be challenged. That's why I wore the hat. I wanted a challenge. I went in there trolling. I wanted to see if someone would say something about it. And they didn't. Um, isn't that why you go to college to be challenged and to like learn and to hear ideas outside of your bubble? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I, I know that's what's what's free. I mean, I've I'm I'm pretty anti college. I've never been a fan of college. Yeah. I actually tell people not to go to college, mm-hmm. and it's because I've never. I guess since I've been growing up, I've kind of seen what this is. 
but there's an idea that college is a place where you go to expand your horizons and i've never felt it's been that way yeah you know now it almost seems like i mean i know it's not an actual phrase but shrinking your horizons or the opposite of expanding your horizons because you go there and maybe you are maybe you're center right and you go to school and you have some friends who are a little leaning more left than you are and they get talking to you and they start convincing you and you're like yeah that sounds right and all your professors are saying the same thing it's all the same rhetoric and everyone's just reaffirming these left values and you'll never hear something from the right from anyone unless you go looking for it so well look look at berkeley yeah you know the the, the republicans at berkeley try hold, holding a presentation to a couple hundred students with milo mm -hmm. and they literally throw molotov cocktails yeah. and burn stuff down yeah they tell you if you have a view other than our own so you might get hurt <laughs> so Jeez. yeah exactly but the the affirming of someone's ideas when they are not correct is the most harmful thing because then they they have a dopamine release they're like oh i'm right this has to be the right thing you know everyone's telling me it's good everyone's protesting supporting these values that has to be the right thing to do and campuses across the country i mean i know i'm in new york city so it's a very liberal area oh, totally, yeah. Democrat. but i am in a business school which tends to uh, actually the students tend to lean more right but that's you know, why it's surprising to hear it's actually still yeah. very progressive it, you know? yeah it's still extremely progressive i am in new york city though so that could explain it a bit um i think also since i'm in business school like i said it's a little bit less the environment isn't as bad i would be actually even more scared to wear it at another college like nyu for example where because i'm strictly at a business school it's only business but a campus like nyu or most other campuses that have multiple schools liberal arts whatever you want to call it tend to have more extreme views at least from what I've seen, you know, there aren't students that are dressed in suits and right, know, acting yeah. professionally. It's, and it's not like you're it's, it's more of a social experiment, these colleges, than it is learning for the for some people. Why why are the professors all progressive? I don't. That's one thing I've never understood. Is certainly somebody who is a professor would have a different like there would be diverse professors, wouldn't there? Like, or could it be that simply the people who get the degrees and want to go to colleges are those who went to a liberal or progressive? Yes, well, I actually know professors who stay quiet about their views. Their views don't fit exactly with the left narrative, but they don't talk about it at all. Like, I got a couple of, I did get a lot, mostly glares when I wore the Trump hat, but I did get some thumbs up and, like, little hints and stuff like that. But people... They're hiding. Yeah, but no one would come out to me and be like, oh, sweet, nice hat, like, give me a high five, nothing. And I didn't expect it. I wasn't looking for attention, like, positive attention. I was looking for negative attention, actually. But... This is interesting because this is like the idea we, we saw um, Antifa people were saying that they wanted to make it terrifying to be a Nazi, right? To be a white supremacist. And now here we are. You're telling me that there are people, you know, in your school that they didn't want to come up and be like, hey, what's up? But they would give you a thumbs up or not. Yeah. Like they're terrified to speak up and they're not Nazis, mm -hmm. you know? So people like, well, like we heard that uh, Antifa activity has been considered terrorist activity because they flat out said they want to make your political opinion terrifying. Mm -hmm. That if you express it, something bad could happen. Like, and it's having an effect on campuses. That, that's what I was going to ask. Like, do you think it's having an effect on campuses? Yes, of course. So yeah. I would say so. And I would think my school is one of the worst examples because it is a business school. Everyone's really professional and most people couldn't give a crap about these like social politics on this sort of campus, but you're still seeing the effects on it. So I think that's really worrying. Any other campus, I would kind of expect it, but... Yeah, and yeah, business school. Yeah. Like, I would assume everyone's super conservative wearing a suit. Yeah. But I guess yeah, not. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's not everyone wearing a suit, but it's a lot more professional. It's a different environment. I would equate it to something similar like law school, rather than just everyone kind of going around. So it's definitely not the social experiment jungle that I would consider most modern campuses today right on well this has been your introduction so i mean this this video that we're doing is very similar to what the podcast will probably be like right. just a lot longer so that's cool you have any anything else you want to add on the issue before we wrap up um all i would want to add is talking to college students in general it's not that scary you don't have to wear a trump hat to start a conversation that was sort of an experiment that i wanted to do all you have to do is really talk to people. And in my experience, I've talked to a lot of people. My campus is mostly progressive. Very few people agree with me. If you just talk to them reasonably and keep your voice calm and level, you'll very rarely find someone freaking out and start yelling at you. It's sort of this misconception that people spread about college campuses, that it's just this total jungle. And if you're right wing, you can't do a thing about it. You can, you can, you can talk to people and change their views. I've done it before. I have friends who I've 
sort of, I like to think enlightened, but again, it's my opinion, so it's not necessarily correct. But all you have to do is start a conversation and make some changes in that way. So. Cool, right on. Well, for those that are watching, Stay tuned because we're going to be doing a podcast. We, I guess, I guess we're not going to actually get to do the full length podcast like we were planning on doing, but this has been a good introduction for you guys to meet Lauren and we'll probably be having conversations. She is right wing. I'm not. So we've also got some uh, guests planned. I've got some friends in New York and we'll mix it up a little bit. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on, on Twitter and Instagram at Timcast. If you want to support the work that I do, Go to timcast.com forward slash donate. Give whatever you'd like. Give nothing at all. My videos are always free and available every day at 4 p.m. with periodic live streams and breaking news from around the world. When we launch the podcast, it's going to be its own different thing with its own Patreon or, or whatever account set up. So we're going we're gonna to get cracking, and it's all about just doing more and expanding. As you're watching this, as I said, I'm going to be on a plane. So stay tuned for some breaking news. Finally, Tim is getting back out there on the ground to do some reporting. And I'm, I'm finally, finally glad to be out of my cage because this apartment is, is like a prison. I want to fly. I'll see you guys tomorrow.